This is Twit. We have to talk about Adobe because the Adobe Max conference took place and Adobe Photoshop, real Photoshop on iPad is finally here uh, after so many months of them promising it, promising it. And they also have given us a little preview of Illustrator for iPad, which I think is great. So yeah, it's, yeah. It, it's pretty cool. Um, I downloaded it yesterday. Um, it's pretty thin right now, the iPad version Photoshop. There's, there are actually some things that you'll try to activate, and it says this in, in orange. I'm sorry, this this feature is coming shortly. <laughs> We're working and, on it. Right. And and it's important to notice that, the, note their language very carefully. They say that they've been promising all along a real Photoshop. They didn't promise the complete Photoshop. And when they say the real Photoshop, they mean that the same pipelines, the same code that is powering these, whatever features are crossing over, you're seeing the exact same thing. So if you're trying to do, uh, so if you've got uh, a Photoshop file in the cloud with layers, with certain effects, that you will have, it, it won't. You don't have this separate app that is doing its best to pretend to be Photoshop. It will be Photoshop, but don't expect that you're going to get every single blend mode. You're going to get every single uh, pencil tool or paint tool. Uh, but it, it's pretty, it, it, it's pretty satisfying to see how it works. And um, I'm really keen to see if it will convince iPad users to subscribe to like the uh, a, a Adobe Creative Cloud package, or whether it's more likely to encourage people who are subscribing to Creative Cloud packages to buy iPads because it could go either way. Yeah, I haven't. I, I it was it came out while I was traveling, so I haven't I haven't downloaded it um, yet. But uh, I think the one complaint I saw was that it that it uh, the raw. Is not yeah. like it's not supporting raw, support which seems like there. a. I mean, there's a lot of things you can leave out, but leaving right. that out when people are looking for something serious, they're like immediately like, oh, I don't understand, you know. So, so that I think that was probably a not a home run, not a great thing to lead off on. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I probably would have waited until I had that, you know, to release. Yeah. Uh, so, but I, I think it's great. I mean, I think that a lot of us are still looking for that great editing package. There are, you know, there um, there are other editing packages on the iPad. They're not. You know, they don't. I think the hard part for a lot of us, I use, you know, I have Pixelmator and Affinity and 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 um, and Photoshop. The problem is I started using Photoshop in 1991. So I have a hard, you know, there are certain things like I try to use up. I keep on trying to use Affinity and Pixelmator for stuff. And so I go over there and I use it for a little while and then I go, OK, I can't do it. Yeah. You know, and it'll always be something silly, you know, like like I, I need to be able to export TGA files and they don't right. they're like, well, that's not a modern architecture. And I'm like, OK, but I still need it. Yeah. You know, and it would take you like a weekend to write, <laughs> you know, like, you know, it's, it's not it's, it's a it's a file format, you know. And so yeah. so uh, but um, uh, so so there's little things that I need that keep on bringing back to Photoshop. And I think that's Adobe's advantage and modernizing it and getting it on the iPad is something that they have to do. And I think they're doing that fairly well. And I think they've done a great job in general of figuring out iOS. Both Autodesk and Adobe saw this coming. They've been putting out little apps for for years, yeah. you know, to test the water, figure it out, figure out how they're going to make it work. And then they've kind of backed up and put something real out. So I think that they've, they've approached it in the right way. Yeah, I agree. Uh, so one, I, I tried out Photoshop this morning and uh, for, for iOS Today, talked about it a little bit. In fact, uh, you should definitely check out iOS Today because we talked about all of those things, uh, all, both the uh, process of, of using Photoshop now on the iPad as well as Illustrator, which will be coming out soon, some AR stuff. And then we had uh, Rosemary Orchard on and she went into depth about her writing process. It was, I'm seriously, <laughs> it was a very, very, very good episode. And that's all thanks to Rosemary Orchard for uh, coming incredibly prepared and with even we were switching between I, I just have to talk about this for a second we were switching between of course as you normally do the switching between cameras but she had it set up to where she could show her ipad view even though she's coming to us all the way from her uh, home office in <laughs> vienna i believe and i just thought that was fantastic so it was a great show and if you want to do great stuff on your ipad or your ios device then you have got to check out this morning's episode because it was uh I'm beside myself with how, how uh, awesome she was, <laughs> truly. Uh, but anyway, back to, to, to this, Adobe Photoshop. Uh, there's also Adobe Aero, which is an AR thing. We were having some trouble with that this morning when I first launched it. it the axis was off, and so the camera was backward, and I, I force quit it and tried it again, and it worked a little bit better. Um, it's clear that that fits more into 
Adobe's kind of weird, underpowered iOS apps versus the full-on processes. But one of the things, it's weird for me. Um, when I first started learning Photoshop, uh, when I was in middle school, so as our um, <laughs> as our manager, Colleen, said today, oh, so you mean yesterday? Yes, it wasn't <laughs> that terribly long ago that I was in middle school. Uh, but when I was- He in, almost has a beard, people. Yeah, come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so a year ago when I was in middle school, I was, uh, I spent- several summers, well, not several, but a couple, a couple summers learning how to use the Adobe suite of apps and Photoshop was my main one. And I uh, was a freelance graphic designer early on in high school. I did that kind of as a side gig and, you know, went to do that a little bit more later on. But my point is I have used Photoshop for a long time, but not for photo editing in the way that some people do where we, you know, you're lightening up things and changing. Uh, Lightroom was kind of always my tool for that. And so the raw support was not a, uh, a be all end all kind of broken at, at launch feature for me. I was really excited because Lori can attest to this uh, these days because I don't do uh, freelance graphic design, except whenever I'm designing podcast art on the rare occasion. Or you can attest to the fact that what I like to do with Photoshop is turn jokes that I <laughs> make with friends and with coworkers into weird Photoshop manipulations. So there was one time where Lori was... <laughs> was talking about, I believe, was it, it, it involved a goose or something? And I think maybe you said the oh. goose is getting kicked and I oh, photoshopped. A, I have a thing that I really want to kick a goose. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Lori really wants to kick a goose. So of course I had I do, to. Because they're so big and fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> it, You're it, so big and bumpy. I just want to kick you. That, I, that didn't come out. That I never connected those two together. But I, I um, you, do, you, do you do you kick squirrels in the park, Lori? They're, they're not part big of your, and like, fluffy. They're, they're part. No, no, no they're they're, 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 fluffy, they're no. fluffy. And believe me, uh, this close to winter, they are pretty darn big. <laughs> they're not as uh, as apparently not as hard to kick as you might imagine, though, Lori. I'll, apparently I'll, I'll not as uh, kickable as as a goose. But uh, so I took that and I I can't find it now. I'm sure it's 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 probably somewhere. But I took that information of her wanting to kick kick a goose and may use Photoshop to create a photo where she is kicking a goose. Um, thank goodness so, Lori's a so rock here's star. here's evidence right now. If somebody tries to use that against me, <laughs> there's proof that this was Photoshopped and that I didn't actually exactly. kick a goose. There were no gooses you know, kicked. I mean, the, 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 <laughs> the first thing that Ozzy Osbourne did was kick a bat, a live bat. <laughs> and, and then, then it just, it went just got out of hand and suddenly by a bit degrees it started being normal. Mm -hmm. It always yeah. starts with uh, with goose kick or with, uh, <laughs> with the kicking and goes from there. Um, so anyway, I'm excited that now when somebody makes a silly joke, I can use my iPad to create this thing. I don't need raw photos. I just need the ability to have multiple layers and masking. And with the Apple Pencil and direct manipulation, it'll be even easier for me to make uh, image masks to make Lori kick a goose or uh, whatever jokes. No, I've made you don't have to make her. You just have to try to stop her. That's, That's the hard yeah. thing. <laughs> yes, it is very difficult to get her to not kick a goose. I'm learning all kinds of things today. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, let me I'm just be sad. clear. I have never kicked. <laughs> A goose. They're just so big and fluffy. You just want to go kick one. <laughs> reach, reach for comment. The accused claim. That she knows. Okay, that's fine. I'm, we'll, I'm we'll include that. Staying out of this conversation. Yeah. What I love is that it's sort of being. You don't want to be part of it. Believe me, if you were listening to this conversation, you would. You would be. As, you know, it's sort of being pushed as this idea that everybody would understand what she means. I mean, they're so big and fluffy. You want to kick a goose. Everybody wants to kick a goose. Everybody wants you know, to Lori, kick a goose. You know, and, 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 and I would say there, that Larry's there digging a hole for herself, and there and there's there you are, there are like handing her more shovels. And I, I guess my whole thing is, is there's a lot of reasons to want to kick a goose. I mean, they're mean. They poop <laughs> everywhere. They they go into the garden. There's you have I, no sense of empathy. You're, I grew up with geese. They're Thank stealing you very your much. bells. And there, we might, people say, uh, when, my, when people tell my father, like, hey, your geese are beautiful. He's like, please take one home. <laughs> like, like, he's like, like, let's get him out of here. How does that, uh, how does that song go? Everybody wants to kick a goose. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. My voice is shot. Normally I'm beautiful, uh, a beautiful singer. Uh, oh my goodness. I knew I was going to be able to find it. Uh, here is... The photo, <laughs> let's see. There you go. Of Lori kicking yeah. a goose. 
There we go. Yeah. See, the goose even has like, uh, I don't even know what to call those, like wind. Um, yeah. The, speed the, lines. Soul, the soulless speed lines, eyes of a remorseless killer, like a shark. Yeah. You, you got that one right. Absolutely knocked down. Yeah. It's a very, that was the only photo that I could find where a leg was available for kicking. So she sort of uh, just rested a, against the tree while she kicked the goose across the park is what happened there. <laughs> Anyway, that's why I'm excited so this is, this for is, Photoshop this is why and iPad. You Photoshop. This, yes. is, this is this is the, the the societal need for. Micah Photoshop. is going to become my meme maker for the rest of, <laughs> of uh, you. I will go to you whenever somebody says something. I'll just say, Micah, give me this. And I, I'll just boop, boop, boop. In fact, that is a regular occurrence for me with uh, with other friends as well. So you're welcome to join that party <laughs> of friends great. who say, Micah, can you do this really quick? And I'm like, well, really quick doesn't actually mean really quick, but sure, I'll work on this for you. Um, yeah. But on your iPad, Micah, maybe Micah, it will be really quick. True. Micah, I, I would like to become a fast-moving internet meme that gets me shamed by the entire world and lose every job that I have or will ever have. Can you get right on that? <laughs> All you have to do is tweet he'll, something. He'll you don't need my help with that you just tweet the wrong thing and that that'll take care of it for you uh yeah or kick a goose that will also get you in lots of trouble uh i think that covers that i'm trying to see if there's anything else on here that we should cover before we say goodbye uh apple of course has issued the update so that HomePod won't get bricked for certain users which is nice that's that's a good thing we don't want that to happen